Oh, sure. We all seek out knowledge and appreciation of the amazing life of our oceans. These creatures and life forms, behaviors, beauty of the marine organisms are probably why most of you are interested in the Acadia Institute of Oceanography in the first place. But wait a second. Notice it isn't the Acadia Institute of Marine Biology. No doubt you'll explore marine biology in oh so many ways. Lobsters, plankton, cnidarians, algae, marine mammals, sea turtles, sharks and fishes, bivalves, mollusks of all kinds, crustaceans, seabirds, benthic communities, coral reefs. Oh, the list goes on. But don't forget about the four pillars of oceanography. Marine biology, of course, but also chemical oceanography, physical oceanography, and marine geology. Yes, by golly. At AIO, you will become acquainted with all of these disciplines. However, don't be alarmed or put off by these topics. Remember that the foundation of the tremendous life of the oceans is a result of these and dependent on the interdisciplinary realms. This really is our limited human expression for what the oceans represent. The interconnectedness of all these mechanisms and dynamics are stunningly beautiful and fascinating. And through an AIO session, you'll get a chance to explore this interconnectedness in myriad ways, fabulous and fun. Some of your explorations may be intertidal explorations, a marine geology field excursion, tide pool in your tank, <clears throat> monitoring and measurements, some sound physical, chemical and biological survey, ocean depths exploration, tides, this we need to focus on for a moment here. The tides, this time lapse is a great view of the dynamics of the ocean over a period of time. We'll also look at ocean gyres, surface currents, atmospheric circulation. This is video shows a little bit of how that it's all connected, the Earth's atmosphere and the oceans beneath the Earth's atmosphere and how they're all interrelated. We don't always just look at the big picture, however. We're going to dig deep into sand analysis, the actual makeup of the sand, how it forms, why it forms on beaches, ocean pollution problems and mitigation, offshore wind generation, concerns of offshore petroleum development, seawater buffering, oh, that's basic chemistry, and we must spend some time on wave formation and wave shape and why waves are as they are, besides being beautiful. We'll look at the photic and aphotic sections of the ocean, and the life that lives in these areas, a the persistent plastics problem, marine pioneers like Jacques Cousteau, climate change, beach dynamics, barrier island formation, and even thermohaline vertical currents, and oh so much more. In the words of Mr. Spock, fascinating. Okay, here is a little demonstration, uh, experiment on the din different densities of water making the ocean. On the left, we have uh, warmer ocean waters represented, and on the right, cold, much colder waters. What do you think is going to happen when those two meet and mix? Amazing. Truly spectacular. As you can see, the colder blue water immediately rush to the bottom. The warmer waters, which might represent surface waters, stayed at the surface because of lower density. This is an example of how density differences in bodies of water in the ocean create 
vertical currents, all part of the physical aspects, the physical pillars of oceanography. It's no accident that the founder back in the mid 70s of AIO, before Ms. Gilmore took the helm, was a chemist and ocean educator, Mr. George Hahn. He approached marine education at AIO by tapping into all of oceanography's essential disciplines all along the beautiful rocky main coast. That approach has expanded and continued through to today's AIO sessions. Don't miss the excitement, intrigue, and understanding. You will be greatly enriched by the experience and appreciate marine life and its complex interdependency more than ever. This is Tim signing off for now hoping to share some of these fascinating experiences with you soon. Thank you for listening.